few months ago, I gave a speech about knowing, doing, gap. Yeah. It's a concept. What it means is we know certain things, but we don't do it. One of the examples is that we know the practice makes us perfect. But how often do we practice? <coughs> whether it is public speaking, whether it is cooking in Italian food, or whether it is a golf swing, or mm -hmm. anything that we come across in our daily life. We know that the practice makes us better and perfect. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I would like to take you to 1988, when I was still in college, and I ran for the election as part of the student leadership. I won the election as a vice president for my university. And that came, and somebody said, Jack, you got to give a speech. This was two years into my college. I barely knew English, because all along my high school, until my high school, I studied in a different language other than English. Two years into this, I'm supposed to give a speech. This is the picture from 30 years ago. I was giving a speech in my college. It was terrifying. Even now, it is still terrifying after 30 years. In 2008, just after 20 years, I realized that I need to know more about public speaking. Why? Because I was in a leadership role in a corporate company, and I needed to make speeches. I needed to be in public events. And I wanted to know everything about public speaking. The first thing I did was I looked up to a community college and said, is anyone offering a class about public speaking? So in 2008, I signed up to go to last year's community college, which is the American River College. I took a semester worth of class about public speaking. I had a book. I learned everything about public speaking. Why do people speak? Why do people speak? How the speech should be structured? how the tone, the words, the body language is important, and can be learned sitting in a classroom. And also by giving a few speeches as part of my, my assessment. After two years, I took another class, which was Dale Carnegie's Effective Communication and Human Relations. I went to that program. And I went to the program with communication in my mind, but it turned out to be a public speaking class. And I learned a lot of details about public speaking, communication, human relationship, how to apply those in our day-to-day -day life, and so on. Last year, on a Tuesday night, I believe it was September, first week in September, I went to the city of Davis, Kansas. And we were like 50 of us were speaking about a particular agenda on the city council. I was the last to speak. It was almost 12.15 in the midnight. I was the last to speak. I spoke for five minutes. And then I went home. I was really, really unhappy about my speech. So I woke up in the morning, and I came here, which was a nice day. I came here to this club, and I sat just like the guests and the, who are here today, and I watched. 
I still remember Tracy came to me and said, here is the member pack for you. And I said, here is the check. Mm -hmm. The point I'm driving is, going back 30 years when I gave my first speech, after 20 years learning everything about public speaking, going through a, a, a Dale Carnegie principles, and that Tuesday night, I thought it wasn't enough. That Tuesday night when I was standing in front of the city council, when I went home, my wife said it was the best speech you had ever given, but still in my mind, that was not very effective. I was still not there. That moment I changed my mind. That moment was the transition to coming to the Toastmasters. It's been almost seven or eight months that I'm coming here. Whenever I'm in town, I make sure that I'm here. I cancel all my appointments. I'm here on every Wednesday. Practice makes us perfect. It's a perfect example of my own life, my own experience, dating back 30 years. But even now, we still, I don't feel like I lost time, but I took action and I took practice to public speaking. Thank you.